the genesis of this research was feeling that there was a gap in our understanding of what was happening to women and why we're essentially stuck in the representation of women at work. And the gap, what we saw was we weren't actually understanding the company level insights. And so we said, what if we took the way in which we understand problems and, and diagnose solutions at McKinsey, and what if we applied some of our analytics to looking at gender in the workplace? What we set out to do was create a full body of data over time that allows companies to see not only what's changing, but what's enduring about the challenges and the opportunities in front of them. And that's really important because for most companies, if you're going to have success on a topic as complex and important as diversity, you're going to have to commit to a multi-year journey. Women in the Workplace uh, this year uh, features more than 220 companies participating in North America, representing over 12 million employees. It, that number is quite staggering to us that we've covered that much. And uh, in addition to that, we have gotten inputs directly from over 70,000 employees on how they experience their workplace. And to our knowledge, that's one of the biggest such types of research studies that has um, ever been done. There's no single answer for what's going on here. There's a whole series of factors that in some create an environment for women that makes it harder to progress. Uh, not just at the senior levels, but all the way through the pipeline. A couple important factors we see. First, that this starts out right at the beginning. So early promotions are in fact the most challenging for women in terms of getting their fair share of leaps from first role into that key first management position. In addition to that, we see that women don't have the same access to senior leadership, to sponsorship and stretch opportunities, um, to the mentorship and support and advice that they need to really progress and get ahead. So they're not being handed the mechanisms underneath that would allow them to not just accelerate but hold their own ground. In addition, we find that women have to advocate even more to get the opportunities in front of them. So when it comes to promotion and negotiation, we see that men are more likely to get those opportunities without having to ask. But women, they have to ask. And when they do, unfortunately, they still see a steeper penalty in terms of likability for doing so. All of these factors, when you combine them together, create an environment that's just more challenging for women at each stage.